You are in command of the Mark 14 Intergalactic Star Cruiser in an uncharted quadrant of outer space. You land on a mysterious planet riddled with a subterranean maze of tunnels and caverns, inhabited by savage Electrosauri, whose horns generate electromolecular charges capable of disintegrating you and your crew. Your photon ray pistol is activated. The iridescent eyes of Electrosauri light the cavern walls with eerie flashes as they stalk you. Warning! Beware the savage attack of the shaggy Marcion Pods. Thus is the story to the gaming epic, Space Cavern. Hi, Video Commander here, and Space Cavern was programmed for the greatest game council ever created. Ever. The Atari 2600. Okay, so maybe it's not the greatest. After all, it wasn't the over steroid-injected graphical powerhouse that was the Sega CD. Or the next level of gameplay revolution introduced by the innovative tech geniuses behind Panasonic's 3DO. But it certainly was the most popular. It survived from 1977 to 1992, making the longest lasting council ever built in this proud nation of ours. America. Land of the free, and home of the also free and formerly brave. But back to Space Cavern. Space Cavern was Apollo's third video game release. The other games it's known for are Space Chase, Space Canyon, and uh, Penthouse Virtual Photo Shoots Volume 1. Yep, Apollo, maker of classic Atari games and sweet, sweet pornography. To be fair, Apollo had been bought out several times after the 1983 game crash, long before that game ever saw the light of day on the 3DO. Still, the company that brought us such great classics like Shark Attack and Lost Luggage, to think that they had the vision to embrace the adult demographic. Well, not to tell you, it gives me a shining ray of hope in these dark puritanical times. But back to Space Cavern. Now, according to the programmer of Space Cavern, Dan Oliver, back in 1982, he was asked by the company president, Pat Roper, to clone a recently released game, Demon Attack. He had never played that game before, but instead was given a description of the gameplay. Now, Demon Attack looks like this, and Space Cavern looks like this. Considering that both of these games were based off Space Invaders, the controls might seem similar, but in Space Cavern, you get to shoot at things charging you from the side of the screen! Wow! Can you even imagine? Rampaging marsiopods. They're not kidding. Beware. It's a good idea not to hug the side of the screen, otherwise they'll just spawn right on top of you. Now what makes this game different than its brethren is one of many flaws. The complete lack of levels. It's just barrage after barrage of marsiopods and electrosauri zapping, shitting, and charging your poor little astronaut until you inevitably fuck up and die. Even Space Invaders had breaks. The absence of waves and being stuck on a single spring results in a stale feeling. You never feel like you're making any progress. I realize that most Atari games don't have an ending, but they generally have a story. When I was a little kid and I beat my first Atari game, when it had an official ending, I was ecstatic. But that wasn't really a standard, so I can't really knock this game for not having one. It's one of those games where you just kind of keep playing and trying to beat your previous, previous high score. So, you know, it worked for Missile Command, but, uh, yeah. I guess the controls are fine. Left and right work normally. However, in order to fire left, you have to push up. In order to fire right, you have to push down. In order to fire up, you hit the fire button by itself. It doesn't really get in the way, it just takes some getting used to. The 
The graphics are above average for the era, and the sound effects, although limited, are at least original. To think that something with gameplay as simple as this could have a plot, it seems kind of strange, but like a plumber in a porno, it just seems to fit. Electrosauri. Electronic dinosaurs? It's kind of like the cover to Demon Attack, so... Maybe that's where they got the idea. While in Demon Attack, they kind of look like birds. While in Space Cabin, they look like Technicolored squids from hell. But honestly, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean... It, look at it. It's so Atari. But in the end, I give Space Cavern 5.8 out of 10. It's worth a look, but you probably won't take it out of your closet more than a few times. Space Cavern on a 10 point scale. Graphics 8, sound 6, controls 5, story 5, replay value 5. Bringing it to a grand total of 5.8 out of 10.